Hello, I am Tiara Haynes, author of The Adventures of Us, Getting to Know Guy on Bluefer Jr. Um, I am a mom to three special little boys who love outer space and who love learning about African Americans and history. And so I wrote this really great book um, to share with them and then to also share with all of you. So I hope you enjoy. The Adventures of Us, Getting to Know Guy on Bluefer Jr. by Tiara Haynes. One afternoon, Dre, Devin, and Dallas were waiting for their mom to make lunch. Mom, we're so hungry. Is lunch ready yet, Devin asked. Lunch will be ready soon, boys, mom said. Let's play video games until it's time to eat, Dre suggested. Let's give the video games a break, dad said. Play outside, guys. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy some fresh air. Please, dad, the boys pleaded in unison. This isn't up for debate. Go outside and play. Have fun, Dad instructed as the boys trudged outside. What should we do, Dre wondered out loud. I know, he said, let's play basketball. How about we jump on the trampoline, Devin suggested. I wanna play astronauts, Dallas said. Dallas, why do you always wanna play astronauts, asked Devin. Because when I grow up, I wanna be just like my favorite astronaut, Guyon Bluefer Jr., replied Dallas. You want to be like, who? Who is Guyon Bluefer Jr.? Devin and Dre asked in confusion. You guys don't listen to mom at all. She taught us all about him. Guyon Bluefer Jr. was the first African-American to travel into space. And he served as a mission, mission specialist aboard the Challenger. You know, the famous space shuttle. He's my hero, said Dallas. Oh, I kind of remember that. Wasn't Guyon an Air Force pilot in Vietnam too? Dallas nodded with excitement. Yep, that's him. Guys, let's play rock, paper, scissors. The winner gets to pick what we do, Dre suggested. The three boys bunched up their hands, ready to play. Dallas won as his rock crushed his brother's scissors. I win, Dallas cheered. Grab your helmets, guys. We are going into outer space. Dragging their feet, Dre and Devin grabbed their helmets, picking up cardboard boxes to place on their heads. I'm going to be an astronaut someday, Dallas smiled. Are you sure about that, Devin asked. For sure, Dallas said. Just watch. Three, two, one, blast off. Within seconds, the three boys blasted off into outer space. Dre, Devin, and Dallas landed on the moon and looked around in amazement. Now dressed in full spacesuits and official astronaut helmets, the boys were prepared and ready to explore. See, aren't you guys glad we came to the moon? This is so cool, Dallas cheered. This is beyond cool, Dre happily agreed. We're walking on the moon, he said as he bounced around. I never imagined doing something like this. Hello, you three must be our new class of recruits, a man said, appearing from behind a crater. Yep, that's us, but wait, aren't you? Guy on Blue for Junior, Dallas asked in amazement. That's right, but you can call me Guy. Today, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know to become an astronaut. Let's get to work and begin your official astronaut training, Guy on said as he led the boys to the training center. Dallas was in awe of Guy on. I can't believe we're training with Guy on Blue for Junior, Dallas whispered to Dre. He's a legend. He's been inducted into the International Space Hall of Fame the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame, and the National Aviation Hall of Fame. He's like the Michael Jordan of astronauts. Guyon chuckled modestly. Thank you for that glowing introduction, Dallas. Becoming an astronaut takes a lot of hard work and dedication. But if you put your minds to it, you three can achieve anything, Guyon said. For example, to prepare for my first night launch, we had to switch our circadian rhythm, Guyon explained. What's circadian rhythm, Dre asked. It means we had to get used to sleeping in the day and being up at night, Guyon explained. But why, Devin chimed in. Well, during the night of our launch, we had to wake up at 10 o'clock. We ate breakfast and suited up. Sleeping during the day and staying up at night guaranteed our bodies were prepared to be alert and aware during the shuttle mission. We put our minds to it and we went for it, even though the adjustment was kind of weird. 
Skyon began training the boys, teaching them challenging astronaut duties, such as spacewalking and operating the space system. Dallas began to struggle with learning to operate the space system, and he started to become frustrated. He threw his arms in the air, ready to quit. Come on, Dallas, you can do it. You've got this, Devin and Dre encouraged. No, I can't do this, Dallas cried. Being an astronaut is too hard. Who was I kidding? I'll never be able to spacewalk. I should just quit so I don't keep embarrassing myself. Dallas, we won't let you quit, Dre said, putting his hand on his brother's shoulders. We're brothers and we're going to stick together to get this done. What's our family motto? Even through fear, we persevere, the boys shouted in unison. You're right, guys. Thanks for reminding me to believe in myself. Let's do this, Dallas said as he perked up and rejoined training. The boys finished their astronaut training and Guyon rewarded their hard work and determination with a badge of completion. I'm so proud of you, Guyon said, and you should be proud of yourselves too. It's always great to see a group complete their training, but it's even better to see you work together to succeed. Brothers are your first best friends, and even though you won't always get along, you should always stick together. After all, look at what you've accomplished today. I have to admit, I thought training to become an astronaut would be too challenging. And even though it was hard, this showed me I could do anything. I'm so glad we did this together, Dre said, grinning from ear to ear. When we work together, we can do anything, Devin exclaimed. That's right, Guyana agreed. Being an astronaut is extremely hard work, but don't ever let difficulties discourage you from trying. Being an astronaut has given me a new appreciation for the Earth. Our planet is a small ball in a large universe. I didn't recognize that until I saw the, until I saw the Earth from afar. Being an astronaut is a labor of love, and once you travel two million miles into space, you want to stay up there forever, Guyon added. What was it like when the spaceship took off? Was it scary, Devin asked. It felt exactly like these simulators, except you're really moving. I laughed all the way up. It was such a fun ride. We flew into orbit upside down. It was spectacular, Guyon explained. The boys listened in amazement, hanging on to every word of Guyon's cool story. Thank you for teaching us how to be astronauts. I can't wait to come back, Dallas said. Never stop using your imagination, Guyon instructed. There are so many things you can do to continue your work as astronauts. Build airplanes, do crosswords and puzzles, and of course, the most important thing is to earn good grades in school. Mom and Dad always tell us to study hard. I guess they were right, Devin said. The boys arrived home safely, planting their feet on the ground and looking around their house. They gave each other a high five, feeling overjoyed about their awesome experience in outer space. Hi boys, mom said as she approached her three sons. Dallas, your shoe is untied, mom said, pointing at his laces. Dallas leaned down to tie his shoe but struggled to finish. Instead of quitting, he looked at his mom and said, I won't let difficulties discourage me from trying. That's a great lesson, Dallas, dad happily exclaimed in surprise. Dallas smiled. I learned it from my astronaut training today, he said, walking off to join his brothers on the trampoline. Astronaut training? Mom confusedly wondered, shrugging her shoulders. 